We're exactly five weeks away from the Cardinals home opener and when Yachty, Goldschmidt and Arenado take the field, they will hear real live cheers. Our Casey Nolan is live tonight with the game plan. Casey. Well, Mike and Ann, sticking with the game plan theme, you could kind of think of this as a team heading into spring training with a roster that looks good on paper. The Cardinals and the city think they have a plan that can work, but now it will be up to fans to execute. Maybe this season it doesn't have to be baseball heaven, just a sign there's life after COVID. Things are getting back to normal. No crowds at Bush Stadium Thursday, just the city's most famous cowboy celebrating the news that when the Cardinals open up at home, these gates will too. If you don't have baseball in St. Louis where you can't have fans in stands, uh, you're missing out. But there will be limits on capacity. Soon the team will start selling tickets for April with a preference for season ticket holders. Tickets will be sold in pods of one to four seats, and the team says the pods will be no closer than six feet from each other. Tickets will be touchless via the ballpark app. Concessions will be cashless, debit or credit only, and masks will be required. We kind of started with MLB, made sure our plan complied, and then the heavy lifting was working with the city. With the city's positivity rate falling below 5% for the first time since last September, the head of the health department waved home the team's request for 32% capacity, or about 15,000 fans. And most importantly, it's outdoors. I think that is reason to be optimistic. Dr. Michael Kinch with Washington University says his concerns start around the seventh inning stretch. The concerns I would have, frankly, are alcohol. You know, when you go to a ball game, you tend to have a beer and you maybe don't distance or do things that you know are, are good for you as, as readily. Well, we call it liquid courage in other situations, and this is courage we don't need, I gather. I, I believe so, and I think that's going to be the concern is that people kind of forget to do the right thing. Another concern we heard from doctors today is what happens out here before and after games when crowds are on their own? Well, a spokesperson for the mayor's office says they've had pretty good luck with Blues fans complying with COVID protocols. They are optimistic that the Cardinal fans will do the same. The team is optimistic that they can just sell tickets one month at a time. And as the season goes on, if things go well, they can open it up to more fans. Live downtown, Casey Nolan, five on your side.